Buff is the type of imposing figure. I used to have little backdoor meetings with Koch Records. You know what they would say at the end of the meeting? Yes. Don't tell him he was over. What if I told you Diddy's influence is so strong that even his closest allies tread carefully? Buff the nigga that will wait 20 years until yes. 75. Yes. And have somebody come do something to you when you're lying and getting my paper. He was gonna be holding on to that sh the elephant. From secret meetings to decades long grudges. You ready for this one? Mm -hmm. You still got kids. He can block the opportunities too. You never thought. Yeah, he never can block the opportunities. He can block the opportunities too. Whatever they inspire. From him, jail. He, from, you know what I'm saying? From jail. And what happens when you're gone? He got the money to outlast death. Even though he's under fire, he's so influential figure. It just wouldn't be wise. You know what I mean? Even though, e even if he get clunked in the head with time, he still. They don't. They don't. They, Nobody's safe from public. During an exclusive Bag Fuel interview, Diddy's former artist reveals why his power as a gatekeeper is unmatched and what happens to those who step out of line. So it's just all of us sitting in the green room for two days straight. Uh, uh, it's gotta be more than just you sitting in the green. Where did y'all sleep? In the green room. Did you have a change of clothes? No, we was Get in there the for two days straight stinking fuck out. Yeah. Y'all sound like y'all in the bullpen. Anybody that <laughs> wanted to go home, for any reasons, they would tell you, don't come back. Holy shit. One of the chicks was like, yeah, I'm hungry. We've been here for two hours. I ain't feeding us. They was like, yeah, you can go get something to eat. We not holding you hostage. If you think his reign is over, this story will make you think twice. Don't miss the revelations that expose the fear of keeping people silent. Puff, yeah, we don't like some of his personal um, decisions on what he does. Mm -hmm. But who carries like him? We know as a gatekeeper, so he's a well-respected gatekeeper, and if you in his good graces, he gonna make shit move. Fuck talk. You That's have to have certain people in position to make the hard decisions that the, the average person can't person make. Can make. So <laughs> answer the question, nobody really spoke out because he's just too influential, man. And now you can see that his, we can see clearly his protection is gone. Whatever was holding people at bay from this happening is no longer there. Mm -hmm. So even now it's still taboo to say something about him because we don't know. We don't know the end result. We just seen Thug walk out the fence after he the state then played. Oh, it's gonna be okay. Fuck the type of nigga. It's it, gonna be fuck okay. the type of nigga. I swear to God, I'm a Scorpio because this is me. I'm not talking. When I say puff, I'm really talking to me. I'm putting up a mirror. Yeah. Puff the nigga that will wait 20 years until yes. 75. Yes. And have somebody come do something to you when you're lying and get the motherfucker <laughs> paper. People don't he holds on to that shit like an elephant. Like, well, I remember you was talking crazy <laughs> in the Hamptons at the white party. People mm. don't think ahead. You ready for this one? Mm -hmm. You still got kids. He can block the opportunities too. You never thought you never Yeah, he can block the opportunities. He can block the opportunities too. Whatever they inspire. From people. jail. From, you know what I'm saying? From jail. And what happens when you're gone? He got the money to outlast death. Bro, that's a hundred grand. When I'm dead and going, keep the press on them niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Back, puff. This shit dying with shit. They got a, <laughs> yo, they got a nigga that, they, they, uh, some white man that just did that in, in, in death, you can't him neither, yo. Look at him, he and, got an NDA. Got, puff got, got an NDA. 20 years after he died. Yes, he got, he's going, got you the can't say nothing firm, about him. And they got the law firms that's gonna carry out the wishes yeah. as if these niggas is alive. Even though he's under fire, he's so influential figure, it just wouldn't be wise. You know what I mean? Even though, e even if he get clunked in the head with time, he still, they don't, they don't, they, nobody's safe from Puff. His Yo, listen, is, niggas is, that got, is, let me is, tell you. Nobody. No, no, let me tell you why niggas are scared now. Cause Thug is home. And, and if anybody thought niggas was definitely going to jail, niggas was thought thug. thug was going to thug. jail, yes. Yes. okay? And Thug is home. Thug, they had murders on this. They had all types of shit through the songs. He's issuing this, and he's home. Talking about, about to drop music with Gunna. The only thing about, about Puff, he don't have that time. He don't have that luxury that, that Thug had. What you mean? What luxury? A, a five to 10 year bid kills Puff. Like, that's almost like a death sentence. Yeah, I told he got me outside. <laughs> I told, yo, 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 ever since this shit went down with Puff, yo, I'm gonna say this on camera, Puff, don't get mad at me. When this shit went down with Puff, I said, this is what I told Heineken. I said, knowing Puff, right, just the fact that he can't come outside and he's being ridiculed, yeah. he's already in jail. And when he went to Wyoming and took the picture, I called him, I said, why the fuck is he outside? When he went to Rolling Loud with the girls, I said, this nigga cannot. I said, I said, this is his issue. What Puff did though? That's a jail. The mistake he made, he didn't repent. 
in front of the public. He didn't do his Chris Brown at the BET Awards, Michael Jackson cry. He wasn't seeking help. He wasn't doing no, no anger management classes, no sexual addiction classes. You just seen him chilling, riding bikes, hanging out. <laughs> they like, what? So, like, so it's like- I'm laughing at you. Not, <laughs> he's not built. I didn't look at that. No, but but he's not built. It's I didn't look at that. <laughs> I didn't think about that. But you know what I'm saying? saying? I didn't think he's about that. He's not built to apologize. No, but that's a nigga that's supposed in his camp that's not supposed to be scared of Puff's wrath advising no, him. No, no, even if he tried He doesn't no, have no, those no, type no, of no, people, No, 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 you bro. forget. He tried it and it looked crazy. Who? Remember when he was like, yo, I... Because it wasn't sincere. What, this is my no, boy. No, no, but, but, but listen, but listen, no, no, no. What, what Ness is saying, remember when I told you that story that time <laughs> when, when I was on the St. Boss boat and Puffy was looking for a manager? And Chuck Bone was like, let Randy manage you. In case you don't know, I'm okay. Randy. Okay. Let Randy manage you. He was like, let, no, James Cruz is, is gonna manage me. Puff said, I can't tell this nigga what to do. That was me. That's that's him. That's Puff. That's who you need. You're not. You're not. Yo, yo, but that's who you need to be like. That's the point. But no, but, th but this is the point. That's niggas right. are scared. Yeah, but he don't have it because other niggas, Randy would be like, I'm telling you, because I'm gonna protect my fucking bread. Niggas is scared to talk to him and say, and niggas would be like, this is real shit. Niggas would be like, yo. And I never knew Puff like this. I swear to God, he was always, because I came on a business tip. Okay. I was not an artist. Mm -hmm. So he looked at me as like junior him. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? You got your artists, you got your producers, you managing Rock Wilder, you got Maya, you got Yummy. You coming up. You want a different way. He, he would cut me checks and say, yo, pay your people. So, I, so, I, so I, I, I had a whole different thing. If you don't want to pay them niggas rent, you don't got to pay them. Just check, I'm cutting this for you and I'm not using this song at all. Danny D. Kane style shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I did. I'm, I'm and keeping it real. It's hard though. It's hard to find that one person. You need that one, like you say, you need that one person like, Pup, I don't know about your money. You can send me home. I know you're a billion, gazillion, I'm up, dollar I'm nigga. up now, but you But I'm bugging. telling you right now, you're, you're bugging. bugging. <laughs> you do this? Yeah, you do yeah. this? <laughs> you do this? You know, you will <laughs> all up. Yeah, exactly. And they just, and these point niggas out. Him, him, him. him. They scared. They they talk about you. They you. In, my, yeah. in my experience, from what I've seen, <laughs> it's only two people he ever listened to. Who? His mother. Stevie J. No, he cusses his mother. RJ Harrell, he, he cusses his mother. Uh -uh. He listen to Russell listen. Simmons and, uh, and uh, Andre, Andre Harrell. What's next? What's next? I gotta get it. I'm not gonna stay down. I'm not gonna stay lying down. I'm not. I can't do that, man. I can't do that. What's next? Give me something else. What can't you do? I can do it. I can do anything.